Yes, it's Friday. Finally, thankfully. I've actually got half of the afternoon off. It's absolutely stunning outside, as you can see. It's super warm, but there's a message I wanted to bring to you guys. So let's head over to the lab, let's improve ourselves, and let's boogie. My, my, my. It feels so good to be speaking to you on a regular basis now, to be coming back, producing, putting better content out there so that you can actually enjoy because my old content I just can't stand. I'm still on the fence on what I want to do about it, if I want to unlist it or private it or just keep it up for jokes. Everybody, before I go off on a tangent, thank you so much for tuning back in. If you don't know me by now, my name's Zachary. This is the Self-Improvement Lab. This is a channel where we try to fill the void in your life, the thing that you thought you were missing to become a better version of yourself. I've improved my life. Many other people on this channel have improved their lives with the things that I've been saying. So if you are one of those people who thinks they're missing something, chances are it's probably on this channel. I only thought that I was going to speak about the prince once. I didn't expect to actually come back here and take another principality from the prince and speak about it and show you guys that you can use this in your life like I used it in my life. But here we are. We're talking about the second one. If you missed the first video, if you missed the first thing I spoke about in the prince, I'm going to give you a little tiny snippet. But if you actually want to see the full video in its entitled, it's either going to be here or here or I'll link it down below or whatever I'll do with it. It'll be there. Just go look for it. It's modeling yourself after somebody, modeling yourself after someone successful, so that not in order to be the successful person, but to smell like the successful person. Does the successful person you think of get up at 4 a.m. and work out at 5 a.m.? Well, why don't you get up at 5 a.m. and work out at 6 or 7 and work out at 8? Modeling yourself after these successful people so that you too can become like them and you too can adopt the mentality that they have so you can become a better version of yourself. So if you haven't already, please go down below and hit the subscribe button. I really would appreciate it. I don't like asking. But I figure if I don't ask, nobody's going to do it. So out of the kindness of your heart, please subscribe. I really would appreciate it. And if you don't want to subscribe, just hit it with a like. If you don't want to subscribe, just hit it with a few minutes of watch time. I really do greatly appreciate every single one of you that has shown up. And if nobody's told you today, God bless. You're beautiful. You're loved. And thank you so much for coming in. If you want to be part of the community, why don't you come join the self-improvement community? Because we're all on this journey together. I'm going to read directly from the Prince. And this is on page 50. I'm going to link it down below as well. It's probably not going to be page 50 because when I did the previous video, I said it was page 20. It ended up being like page like 30 or 40 on the PDF. So just keep that in mind. And the translations might be a bit different. I'm reading this version. This is the version that I picked up at the thrift store for $2.99, which was a complete steal. So if the version on screen looks a bit different, I think it's down here or down here. Here. I apologize, but this is what I'm reading, so take it as I'm reading and just kind of read along. Among other praises bestowed upon him by writers, Philip Holman is praised because in peacetime he thought of nothing except the ways of waging war. When he was out in the country with his friends, he often stopped and reasoned with them. If the enemy were on that hilltop and we were here with our army, which one of the two of us would have the advantage? How could we attack them without breaking formation? If we wanted to retreat, how could we do this? If they were to retreat, how could we pursue them? As they rode along, he proposed to them in every situation in which an army might find itself. He heard their opinions, expressed his own, and backed it up with reasons. As a result, because of these continuous reflections, no unforeseen incident could arise when he was leading his troops for which he did not have the remedy. It's very interesting because if you talk to people, and this is something I notice among the people who are ultra successful, or in the people who are really good at solving an issue, is that all they do is they consume themselves with something. You know, I think Andrew Tate put it beautifully is that if you all you know is ice cream men and all these ice cream men talk about ice cream and how to store a certain ice cream at a certain flavor and, and, and this ice cream works better with this cream and this ice cream works better with this cream. All you're going to know is ice cream and you're going to have the problems and the solutions. So how couldn't you use that, that idea to solve ice cream issues to possibly sell a $2 issue for a dollar in a sense? You know, Conor McGregor put it beautifully as well. That's why I don't know about nothing else. I do not pay attention to nothing else. There was games of football on yesterday, there was rugby, there was this, there was that. And like normal society is like, let's talk about this, let's, let's engage in this. And I just don't, I can't do it, I just don't, I'm, I, people are talking to me and in my head I'm, I'm counting something. I'm counting up a number or I'm, or I'm knee deep in a sequence on the mat or in, on the feet. That's my life, sequences and numbers, nothing else. I cannot pay attention to nothing else. And it's this obsession that drives people to actually achieve their goals. We can almost frame it in a way that 
the people who are obsessed, the people who want something so bad, it tends to be all that they think about. We all know somebody who kind of, when we speak to them, seems a bit spaced. I know it's very strange to say, but those people that are spaced normally are people who are really good thinkers. Normally people who are really good solvers. Now, obviously it depends on what space we're talking about. That obsession is a real superpower. Don't be afraid or don't be ashamed to have the superpower. Because if you're obsessed, if you want something so bad and it's all that you think about, chances are that you're going to have every situation worked out in your head and that's going to be to your favor because when time comes for that situation to show itself, you're going to know what to do when people don't actually know what to do. Real businessmen think about all the opportunities and all the things that could happen with how they're allocating with their money, how they're going to work around this problem in their business. Say somebody quits and you don't know what you're going to do. People who are obsessed with the business, people who are obsessed with seeing things happen have already worked out, okay, if he quits, what am I going to do? How am I going to overcome this? Because I think one thing, if we look forward in thought, sometimes it can help us ease the worry. And I know it's hard to say because we've been put in this way that we need to be in the now. And sometimes I argue that, yes, it's okay to be in the now, but if you think about the outcomes that are going to happen in the future, when those outcomes actually happen, you're a lot more prepared. The, 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 the ill-minded, the people who are weak-minded, when opportunity comes or, or, or when challenges arise in business or, or in life, they tend to fall back because they don't know how they're ever going to overcome a certain situation. But the mentally strong, the people who have actually overcome something and the people who are striving towards something can usually think about a way that they can overcome it, possibly either one, because they've thought about it or two, because they're mentally strong and they've gone through challenges and they know they'll get over it eventually. So what I highly suggest you do is if you are obsessed Think about every situation you can and think about how it will play out because I'm telling you, if you can look into the future in a sense and think about all the possible situations, negative or good, you'll be ready for both and you'll know how to deal with both. And knowing how to deal with both situations, knowing how to deal and overcome both situations is incredibly powerful because when you... When, the, when, when a regular person is set with a roadblock, you're set with a movable object. When you can think of any which way and you can get other people's opinions on the certain things, you're going to change your life. You're going to become the CEO you want. You're going to become the entrepreneur you want. You're going to become the realized idea of yourself. You're going to become the self-improved version of yourself. And that's what we're all here to do. The self-improvement lab is about putting case studies in your face so that you know you're hit with the facts that if I do this, I will change my life. It's not an undenied fact to say that obsession is bad and obsession is going to lead you to do bad things. Obsession is always good. Be obsessed. Be obsessed and think about the many outcomes in your life. Think about the many outcomes if you start a business. Think about the many outcomes if you start a clothing brand, if you start, or if you start a YouTube channel, if you start a TikTok and Instagram. Go over all the scenarios in your head. Go over everything you've thought of in your head, from the good to the bad to the riches to the, the, the drought to the, to the fame to the views to the not having views. Think about all the situations and what you're going to do when Procter & Gamble reaches out to you, when Coca-Cola reaches out to you, when McDonald's or all these sponsors or all these cool brands wants to reach out to you. Or think about the situation where none of these brands reach out to you and you have to record more content, you have to do more videos so that you're mentally prepared. Because if you can quickly become mentally prepared about what you're going to do with your life and how you're going to overcome these challenges, you're going to run everybody over.